Howdy folks, welcome back to my carving shed here in Virginia. Today, continuing part two of carving uh, this Highland cattle skull for a butcher shop. Got all the design uh, sketched out, so we're just gonna jump into carving. We're gonna do kind of the outlines first, come back, remove the material around my design, and then lastly we'll come back and clean it all up. And then we're gonna do a finish on it. So stay around for that. So let's get carving. Okay, all the outlining is done, so we are going to move forward to removing the area or cutting down the area around the design. Uh, what that will do is help uh, the actual design stand out more to give it more prominence or make it more prominent. Uh, and yeah, so let's go. Okay, next is to clean up the edges of all of the design, all of the lines, everything. And for that, I'm going to mostly use an inverted cone burr. That'll give us nice, crisp, straight edges. That'll make it look really clean. Lastly, I'm just going to go over the 
whole thing with uh, some sandpaper, files, stuff like that, and just get all the negative space in the area around the design nice and smooth. Okay, so I don't know if this actually makes a difference, but what I like to do is soak the horn cheese overnight in water. That way they kind of uh, loosen up or kind of get soft. And then once I put them back on the uh, horn core, they will shrink and dry to the horn core and create a really good connection. Alrighty, now I'm just gonna let it dry out overnight and that'll be it. Well, thank you for watching. I do hope you liked how the skull turned out. Uh, I'm pretty proud about how it did. Uh, pretty happy with the background, how smooth I got it, and of course the copper finish. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, any comments, we'd love to hear your feedback, good or bad, uh, leave them below in the comments. If you have not, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna return this to the butcher. Hopefully he likes it. And uh, thanks again for watching. I will see you next week.